Yeah, they do like uh, you give them a, a list of songs and they'll try to find as much of it that they can bring with vinyl on vinyl. So oh, she's that's really cool. she's excited for that. She's a uh, she's a big uh, she's an, uh, an old punk. I married uh, a, I married a punk who grew up. Now she you know, works for the man. We grow up from time to time, and it's really interesting to see people with that interest grow up and see how they, you know, integrate that punk rock lifestyle into their everyday. Because obviously, you can't be the same no. as when you're 18. No. But you still give it up because it's still who you are. Yeah. See, I, 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 I she dress, the one part of that I love about her is that she dresses the way she wants to dress and she doesn't care. But her dresses have not, you know, have gone from when she used to wear Liberty Spikes and, and, and bondage pants. And now she just likes to wear a dress every day and she Aww. doesn't care to do her hair. She always has something in her hair and it always looks fantastic. And for me, she gets the added bonus of the fact that her husband dresses like a 36 year old toddler. It's uh, <laughs> jeans and t-shirts all the time. Today she had to put up with three people making fun of my, uh, it's a uh, Stormtrooper face and the, uh, it's, it's juxtaposed like the Watchmen uh, smiley face. Yeah. And uh, she has to put up with people always commenting on my wacky t-shirts because no one knows what the fuck they are. So. <laughs> my husband actually is the same way. He is all about t-shirts and anything that's on them. They're, they're never plain t-shirts. No. No, I, I can't do it. Uh, so what kind of music are you into? It, it really varies. I like a lot of uh, big band music. Okay. And I definitely like a lot of electronic music. Okay. I would say it's where my main focuses are in music most of the time. And I like indie rock and old country and things like that as well. Okay. All right. I jive with you, sister. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> if you were here, I would have told you to kick me in the nuts. <laughs> I'll well, email you a kick in the nuts. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, I'll let you go. Thank you for being oh so gracious for coming on our little podcast here. No uh, problem. Anytime. My pleasure. It really, it really does. It means a lot. You were the first. Uh, if you've ever, I don't know if you've listened to my podcast, and you don't have to, but it's just basically me getting together with a bunch of my friends trying to be funny we're just talking about things that matter to us because in the long run if it's if 10 people 15 people 100 people listen to it i'll always have it it'll be for me and you're always going to be a part of of a period in my life where i was doing this podcast and hopefully i'll be doing it for a very long time and hopefully you will come back anytime as long as we don't have hurricanes and everything trying oh. to keep us apart <laughs> That was so crazy. Let's just do a real quick backstory. I was supposed to do this before we got hit with Hurricane Irene. And then we tried to reschedule. And then you guys got hit with the HIV thing uh, out there. Right. Uh, which I'm sure consumed your life. So it was, if we finally got together on this Sunday night. And when I go back in there, I get to watch True Blood. Oh, God. Yes, I know. I cannot wait because I'm in the past. So I have to wait 15 more minutes for my true blood. I haven't seen it, so I'll let you go before before the show comes on. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in touch with you, uh, Misty, and uh, I will let you say this. Would you like to say the parting words I give to my uh, audience? I will. Uh, it. I mean, that's we, a lot of pressure. I know. What I say basically is, I say, well, there you go. That's what you get. Oh, I will say it now. There you go, and that's what you get. Thank you very much, Misty Dawn. So there you have it, our first celebrity, a woman who lives and breathes on my internet and television, Misty Dawn. She was super, super nice to come on and do the uh, podcast. Um, she was so, super sweet. Uh, follow her on Twitter, at Meow Misty Dawn. Go to her website, www.meowmistydawn.com. Follow us on Twitter, at rs3feed. Uh, email us uh, at rs3feed at gmail.com so please please again thank you super again misty for coming on uh i cut off before she could we could all hear us her tell us that she loves us um and we love you too misty again thank you thank you thank you interesting side note i uh i, I got some nookie from that from that uh from doing that podcast simply because lulu came over to me and gave me a big hug and kiss and said you talk to a porn star about our wedding. You are simply the greatest. Let's recap. I'm the greatest. Meow Misty Dawn's the greatest. And my fiance Lulu's the greatest. And you are the greatest. 
please continue listening, continue subscribing. I love you. There you go. That's what you get.